Hello and welcome to the video for the final exam which you will be covering chapters 7 through SP2. The final exam emphasis page in this module contains excellent information that will help you prepare for this exam. Please read it very carefully and the first comment I would like to make about this final exam is that it's very much like the midterm exam. So if you love the midterm exam you'll love the final and vice versa. First I'd like to talk about some items that are described in the uh, final exam emphasis page and they're about the they're basically a description of this final exam. So I want to go through these with you. First of all the final exam will cover the material from chapter 7 through 12 of the text. It does not cover SP 1 and 2 because those are ch from chapters 3 and 4 which were in the uh, earlier part of the course. It will be in the form of a series of true and false questions, multiple choice questions, and one matching question with six lines at the end. The true and false and multiple choice questions will be similar to the ones that you've seen in chapter quizzes. As in the midterm exam, each question will be followed by a chapter indication such as CH-8. This will direct you to the correct chapter to find the answer. The final will not cover, as I said, SP 1 and 2. The total points for the final exam will be 30 points. And the exam is given, I've given you a little more time. It's two and a half hour time limit. Most people for the midterm found that two hours was well enough time. So, you know, you'll, you'll, I, I wanted to make sure you didn't have any problem with time. As in the midterm, I've created a practice quiz, which you can take over and over again to develop your technique of going back and forth between the exam and the text. Please remember that you cannot close out the exam as you're working on it, because when you close it out, since you only have one try, you're through, and you could seriously harm your, your grade. How to study for the exam. That would be the next subject I want to cover. On the first page of each chapter, you'll see the chapter objectives. Study this list thoroughly. It's very important to know the objectives in each chapter because you'll be directed back to that chapter and by reviewing this you'll have a better chance of quickly going to the answer. You should already have completed all the develop your skills exercises within each chapter. I've strongly recommended that in each chapter before. And I suggest that you review these just to go through and look at how you do various things. Uh, you also should review each chapter's assignments that you created in the Apply Your Skills area. The answer to the exam will be available for you to review from 1219 through 1223. That's after the closing date of 1218 for the module. In the discussion entitled Final Exam and Course Feedback and Comments, I'd like you to give me your comments on the final exam and also give me any constructive comments that would make the course better for the next group of students. I'm very pleased to have had each of you in this course and I know I've, I really want to thank you for putting up with a lot of um, problems that we've had working with a brand new system and I'm sorry that you were the ones that had to be the first ones to work with this. Uh, we've worked out many of the problems but I appreciate your your cooperation and your good attitude in dealing with these. Thank you very much.